Okay, so in this video, we're just going to go over the negative angle identities. Okay, before we even get to look at the identity itself. There's an identity we're supposed to answer, but best, first of all, we'll have to understand these negative angle identities. So, I'll start with sine negative of x. So, sine of negative of x will be as simple as, it's the same as negative sine of x. Then if I talk about cosine of negative x, so cosine is the only one that changes, so it becomes the same as positive cosine of x. Okay, so tan remains as sine, so tan of negative x is just the same as what? So it will be a minus tan of x. So you've observed that the signs of uh, x are changing. Okay, now the only sign that is the opposite is for cosine. So equally as I get to talk about the aspect of the cosec, the second, so we understand which one is associated with cosine. The one that is associated with cosine is second. So equally the same things will apply. For cosecant which is associated with sine, it will be negative to maintain the second will become positive and then the contangent will get the negative from its x so only two of these are different cosine which is associated with second because second is one over cosine so those are the only ones that if you remove the negative from the x inside it becomes a positive on the forward part Okay, that is cosine and second. These are the negative trig identities you'd have to know and work with. Now talk about the, this identity or proof using the, the identities we've come up with under the negative angle identities. So cosine of negative x we've basically seen. So the left hand side is of, is of course more complicated. So a cosine of negative x is obviously going to be positive as we've seen it will be positive cosine of x and then for the sine it will become negative now one minus sine of x that's what we've seen from the negative angle identities now at this point uh, looking checking that the actually the top part the the, the other side the right hand side is only a single line so would better want to do away with the denominator. So the best way we can do that is by multiplying by the aspect of the conjugate. So we we'll multiply by one plus sine of x. Again we we'll say multiply plus. So this is just the same as we are multiplying by a one because if you divide that it will give you a one. So we are not changing the, the equation. But I'm just trying to simplify it. So if you multiply you have cosine of x multiplied by by 1 since it's in the brackets and then you have cosine of x again maybe for the sake of simplification let me first of all read it in the brackets 1 plus sine of x and then the denominator part 1 times 1 is just a 1 so I understand that with, with what we have if you multiply the, the middle part, it's basically going to go away. So you, in, in short, what we just have is like a difference of two squares. So it will just be 1 minus eh, sine squared of x. Okay. So now at this point, we wouldn't want to expand it again because if we do, we are going to reverse whatever we've done. So what we're going to do is we understand that the different form of 1 minus sine squared of x is the same as cos squared of x. And then the numerator will maintain. So due to lack of enough space, I'll proceed on the top part. So we'll have cosine of x, 1 plus sine of x. And then 1 minus sine squared of x is of course equal to cos squared of, of x. Are we any closer? 
yes we are getting closer and closer so you understand that that can divide into one and then on the denominator part they remain cos x so where are we getting now so we now have one plus sine of x over cos of x so the common denominator is cos so we'll say one over cos and then we'll say sine also over cos separately so now one over cos is something that we know as an identity right one over cos is sec of x and then sine divided by cosine is tan x so at this point this is what the left hand side has become so you can now make a conclusion a statement so the left hand side is identically equal to the right hand side hence verified or proven depending on how the question was phrased mm -hmm.